Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by and checking out the card pile. Well, I picked up another pack of the 2021 Topps Nippin Professional Baseball League cards. And uh, I bought a box a couple months back. And basically you get a, a, a factory sealed pack. And then if you see under here, there's some random cards there. I don't know if I mentioned that last time. So, there's some good cards in here. Uh, the Suzuki card for from uh, Japan of the guy that plays for the Cubs, Seiya Suzuki. Um, that's a pretty good card. Um, the last pack I picked up, I got two good, pretty good cards in there. And uh, so, that wasn't bad. You know, and these are interesting. And I've only seen them once in a great while. And as a matter of fact, this was the only one that I seen in the whole section of uh, collectible cards, whether it be sports cards or Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon or Harry Potter or what have you. But anyway, I liked the last pack I grabbed, and so I figured I'd pick this one up. So let's see what we got here. We'll check out the five random cards first. Okay. No, nothing stuck to it. So let's see here. Josh Van Meter. Pat Valika. Tyler Wells. Keegan Aiken. All right, those are the five randos. And those were pretty random. Now let's open the pack. Here's the front of the pack, which is pretty cool. I mean... It, it caught my attention the first time I grabbed the pack. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Here's the back of the pack. So, yeah, there's some, uh, there's some stuff you can get in here, like foils and parallels and what have you. Not real familiar with all that stuff, especially with this uh, product, but we'll see what we get. Put the pack over there. It still looks cool, though. Okay, here we go. Here's the first card. I'm not even going to attempt the names. But we'll look and see how cool the cards are. Here's the back of this one. SoftBank Hawks. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, those are pretty cool. Let's see the next one here. Yeah, I'm not even going to try the names, but yeah, that's a cool action shot too. Cool bat. I like the uniforms. Dig the helmets. Let's see what the back of this one looks like. Same thing. That's pretty nuts. Pretty cool looking though. And then here we go. It's got that classic Japanese stance, I like to think. Sadahara O had it. Here's the back. That's a cool logo. Yeah, that's a real sweet logo. Let's see, here's the next one. Another Hawks player from South Bank. Oh, rookie card. The Eagles. Yeah, these are pretty cool. I need to get a little more knowledgeable on the Japanese players. During the pandemic, I remember watching a lot of Korean baseball, which that was pretty cool. Yeah, 
maybe check out some Mexican League baseball. Here's an, here's an American player. Let's see. Got to be an American player. Yeah, that's pretty wild. And here we go. This looks like the 1986 uh, cards, I believe. Tops. The Dragons. That's pretty cool. Logo's a little soft for a dragon, but I can dig it. It would attract the kids, you know, it would attract the kids. And that's the main thing about baseball should be is uh, getting the kids hooked on uh, the sport and, and the players and all that. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like the design. Pretty wild. This guy kind of reminds me of uh, maybe Daryl Porter from the Cardinals back in the day. Here's another one of uh, from the Swallows. Yakut Swallows. That's pretty cool. Quite a few cards in here so far. That's pretty nice. He's got the he's got the dead eye. I like the logo on that. That's pretty cool. Cool uniforms. Well, another rookie card. I probably missed a couple, but that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and say it. This guy reminds me of Rusty Stop. Love old Rusty. Yeah, these cards are pretty neat. Definitely need to look more into them. That's a cool, that is a real cool shot right there. That's pretty sweet. The glove, the ball, the motion, the intensity in his face. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Let's see here. Tigers. A couple more left. Let's see here. Again, the Dragons. The uniform reminds me of the Dodgers, which is pretty sweet. The uh, Soft Dragon for the kids. All right. And here's the last one, and it looks kind of shiny. Nope, just the logo. Oh, it is Suzuki, though. I'll be darned. The last card. It's not a parallel or anything like that. It's just the base card, but that's pretty sweet to get that. So right on. It's kind of, you know, obviously that's what I was hoping for, but a sweet parallel or anything like that wouldn't really bother me because I, I definitely don't know anything about those, but I don't know anything about this card much other than it was kind of sought after. So to hit it is pretty cool. There's the front of it. A little better. See the logo on that one. Okay, let's see what it says on the back. The carp. Toyo carp. So yeah, I'll be darn. Last card in the pack. Last card we see is uh, Suzuki. All right. So that's pretty cool. Well, I know it's a little odd thing, and I wish I knew more about them, but it were a cool little pickup to grab, and uh, especially hitting the uh, Suzuki card, which was pretty right on there. So, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I'll pick them up again if I see a pack or something like that. I'm not going to go nuts and try to search them all out, but, yeah.
need to look more into the pack and the set and see what uh see what else is out there some rookies and stuff so i hope you enjoyed it like i mentioned not a bad set not a bad card i did get the suzuki so that was pretty cool um yeah let me know if you've uh, picked any of these up in the comment section or uh if you ran across them and decided not to get them or if you or if you're trying to build the set that'd be cool well i hope you enjoyed it i know it's kind of weird but that's just me. All right. Thanks a lot. Please give me a like and subscribe. And if you haven't already, and I wouldn't mind a share or two. All right. Thanks, guys.